In this third mini-tutorial in our series on Networks and Atlas TI, we'll focus on understanding and working with links between objects in network views. There are two main types of links in Atlas TI. These are weak links and strong links. If we take a look at a network view, all of the links shown in this view are weak, with the exception of the link between the two codes at the top of the view, connected by a link with the relationship is A. The labeled link in our view is known in technical terms as a strong or first class link. This refers to objects that have their own attributes, in this case semantic and aesthetic properties. Strong links are the links that you create actively by linking one code to another or hyperlinking two data segments. Strong links can only exist between quotations or between codes. Weak links, the second basic type of links in Atlas TI, represent a more implicit type of connection. For example, during coding, when you assign a code to a quotation, you are also creating a link between the two objects. This link will resurface in a network view when you import the neighbors for a code. Weak links cannot be managed and have no independent properties. Now let's look at a few different ways to create, modify, and cut links in network views. To link two nodes, first select a node by clicking on it, go into the Links menu, and choose the item Link Nodes. Alternatively, you can use the Link icon in the Network View toolbar, or as a third option, select a node while holding down the Shift key, drag the rubber band that appears in the process to the second node, and finally choose a relationship type from the list. To link more than two nodes, you can drag your mouse over the nodes that you'd like to link. Then click on the Links icon and choose a node to complete the linking process. To modify strong links in your network views, right-click directly on a link and select an alternative relationship type from the list, or open up the Relation Editor to create a new one. To cut a link, once again you can use the Links menu or the icon with the small scissors in the horizontal toolbar. Right-clicking on the node containing the link will also give you the option to cut the node link. Click on the other end of the link that you would like to delete from your network view. And to wrap up, some changes that you make in network views will be global in scope. If you delete a link between two objects in a network view, they will no longer be linked in the project. Changes to relationship properties will also be global in scope. Other actions in the network editor, such as importing quotations or displaying linked objects, only make parts of the existing project network apparent or allow you to see the complex relationships that you're building through your analysis. And this wraps up our third tutorial on networks in Atlas TI. Thank you.